Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 50 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas, that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one major aspect of Episode 9 that a lot of fans are truly looking forward to is, of course, the interactions between both Rey and Kylo Ren, and exactly what that's going to look like once Palpatine steps into the picture here, where both Rey and Ren will eventually form an alliance to go up against a greater evil, that of course being Darth Sidious himself. Now, this movie is said to be by far the darkest Star Wars film there is out of the entire Skywalker saga, which really is a big deal by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Kylo Ren is said to be traveling to the world of Exegol at the very end of the third act of the film, where it's said that he is trying to catch up to Rey before Palpatine is able to turn her to the dark side, and that Kylo is in need of warning her of Palpatine's manipulation. Now, it's described that once Kylo Ren lands on the world of Exegol, he is said to be wearing a damaged helmet from the fight he had with Rey on the second Death Star, where this is where Ren is said to battle the Knights of Ren by using the Force and eventually using Leia's lightsaber that Rey hands to him at some point through their Force Bond. It's explained that later on in the film, the Palpatine is described to offer Kylo Ren a vision of a potential future version of himself, where a vision that shows Kylo his innermost desires, where Kylo is described to see a vision of a newly designed Darth Vader helmet lowering over his head, where Palpatine now explains that he can offer him the power his grandfather once held many decades ago. This is where Kylo begins to fall for Palpatine's manipulation a bit. However, it's said that Kylo would want this power in order to destroy Palpatine Palpatine once and for all. However, it's explained that Palpatine has no plans to give Kylo a certain power and only wants to drain Rey and Ren of their energy to rejuvenate himself in the process. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the thing about Episode 9 here is a couple of things. Now, in the third act of this movie, a lot of things are happening. Now, of course, we have a moment in which Kylo Ren seems to be more civil with Rey in this particular moment where they are forming an alliance in order to take on Emperor Palpatine himself, the leader of the new Sith Empire, right? So this moment is actually said to be all on the world of Exegol. The world of Exegol, in case you guys have no clue, is actually Palpatine's brand new world that actually holds the new Sith Empire both underneath the surface of the planet and above the surface of the planet. Now, when Kylo Ren actually approaches Palpatine's hideout, the Knights of Ren are actually said to be guarding this entire area. So it seems as so that the Knights of Ren are now sided with Palpatine, surprisingly. And that's a very interesting thing, because we do know that Episode 9 is going to have a lot of different twists and turns and surprises coming our way that's really going to put our characters in different challenges and in different, you know, uh, difficult situations, especially these different obstacles, if you will, that Rey and Ren have to go through. Now, this is said to be a moment in which Kylo Ren is literally able to go up against the Knights of Ren by using the Force alone and using his mother's lightsaber, Leia's lightsaber, that is actually given to him by Rey through one of their Force Bonds. Which, of course, eventually leads to the very moment in which Kylo Ren sees a vision provided by Palpatine inside of his new throne room of him becoming a new Vader where the helmet is lowering over Kylo Ren's head. Again, this is reminiscent of what George Lucas originally wanted to do at the very end of Return of the Jedi, where the Vader helmet is lowering over Luke Skywalker's head, where he then states, Now I am Vader. So it seems like a little bit of a callback to that original ending of Return of the Jedi, but it's just in the form of a vision of Kylo's innermost desires. Now, about this, I will say that this movie is going to be very heavy on visions and, of course, uh, battle sequences in the third act of the film between Rey, Kylo, Palpatine, and even the Knights of Ren. At the very least, I'm actually very satisfied that the Knights are going to go up against Kylo as opposed to just Rey defeating them once and for all. I feel like that is a very good thing for Kylo Ren to destroy exactly what he was leading for so many years. It really seems like that here, 
Kylo was trying to burn as many bridges as possible of his connections to the dark side of the Force, only to be found in yet another manipulation by, by of course, Palpatine by offering him the power of his grandfather, Darth Vader, slash Anakin Skywalker, by seeing that vision of him with the Vader mask. Again, this could also be a nice little callback to when Luke Skywalker's face was seen inside of Darth Vader's helmet. It almost reminds me of that as well. So, you can really see how J.J. is kind of taking elements from The Empire Strikes Back and using it in different ways at the very end of Episode 9, specifically in the third act of this movie. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.